Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amell play, Finding Paradise. On the last episode, <laughs> just want to show this, no, pass, I wanted to just, yeah, Sophia, will you marry me? It's also kind of like so. Oh, also there's only one L in Will. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, Fia, will you marry me? I mean, it's so cool. Yeah. She should be impressed. Uh... We, we're, we're running out, uh, Matt and I discussed this at the end of last episode, uh -huh. but we're running out of places to go, man. Like, we are at the middle. We gotta be to the middle. Seriously? Only one single orb from the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered it. Yeah, I'm, I'm super invested in the story, I'm super invested in the characters, and now I'm, I'm just really wondering at this point. That's Faye. Yeah. Man, how are you going to be able to pilot an airplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're going to be late. She's sure getting a lot of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. Thanks, Dr. Watts. Oh, God. <laughs> that, was, that was me. It's fine. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Ugh, never mind. He had his cello. Yeah. Don't you find that really weird? Uh-huh. Hey, actually... What's the matter? You know, I think I'm gonna pass on this one. It's your first re rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, uh, were... Well, you being there would help. I guess, but I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging around. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me all about it after the rehearsal? Okay, then it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine. Wow. What a wacky gal. <laughs> Note, wacky gal. Someone's a little cuckoo in the head. Weird gal. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... She won't be there. And he has a rehearsal? Also weird... Ambience. Uh-huh. Welcome! You're one of the newcomers, right? The rehearsal's gonna start in a bit. You should go warm up in the practice hall first. Really weird. Uh -huh. Ambi I don't like it. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, get that horn off the couch before it gets drool on it. Oh, relax. There's already drool everywhere. <laughs> oh, gross. Wow, tight lips. Have you been working out your em embouchure? You wanna try that word again? Em embouchure? Embouchure. Embouchure? So you would know you were in band. Yeah, babe, the pencil goes wherever my mouth goes. Beautiful. Okay, I already had, I already had my conversation with you. So I'm going to walk down here. Follow Colin a little bit. Yeah, it's really weird feeling here. Yeah. But we're... There's now, no music. But now we know where we are. Yeah. So interesting because um, Sophia was the one that played music. Yeah. So it's weird that we're here for him. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop. A couple of blank pages. Okay, that's our memento. Still missing two more things, though. I guess we're going to go out in the crowd and see what we can find. At least we've been here before. Mm-hmm. You okay, buddy? Is this the right place? Oh. Oh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. Finally! I've been wondering when this is going to happen. Colin and Sophia met at a community band rehearsal. Oh, so they met over music. Okay. A 
Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. Uh, I, I will. All right, let's pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo, ready? Interesting. Yeah. Everyone looks cooler with a metaphorical spotlight. <laughs> it's true. Can't argue with that. The sheet music appears to only have cello and piano parts. Which makes sense, because... That's the only parts you would know. Exactly. Well, at least things worked out. Things kind of worked out, you mean. Or we wouldn't be here. Probably not anything down here, but it was worth a it's worth a peek, and we have all of the things that we need to progress. God, we're actually we've been jumping around that uh -huh. I don't know if we're going forward or backwards. We're going backwards now, right? Uh, before this was the proposal, so I bet we're going forwards. We're going forward. See, I can't even further ahead. I can't even tell. We that means that we we're so close to center. Yeah. Like, because that's the thing. I'm like, wait, which direction were we going again? Because we're here, uh -huh. so we're going forward. Yeah. But not by much. Not by a whole lot. Alright. Prepare the memento. Okay. Uh, <laughs> book. 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 And what do these do again? I got rid of three. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Um... And these are already together, uh -huh. so if I can just... Oh, look what happened. Uh -huh. If I can just do... Wow, that worked out far more quickly than I expected <laughs> it to. Cool. Excellent. Alright, whether we're going forward or backwards, pretty sure it's forwards. Let's make the jump. Oh, wow. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you... What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around, so sometimes probably past. What are they looking at? <laughs> A quick pencil sketch. What does his look like? What does his look like? <laughs> 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 Gee, I wonder who uh, he learned to draw like that from. It's a lot of fish. Fish is being been kind it's of a an aquarium. Well, I know, but I mean Ow. like a recurring theme. I know we're in an aquarium. <laughs> Thanks, Mal. Mal's not sure if I know that we're in an aquarium. You've never been to one. Ever, ever yeah. in my life. <laughs> Except all of the times that I have. Oh, it's one of the little touch areas. Uh huh. Hey, where's it going? What is that? And why would you want to touch it? <laughs> wow, for a cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. Oh, it's a squid. <laughs> or an octopus. <laughs> Regret. Ink attack. Colin took a squid to the face on the first date. Gracious. Why is this even in the petting pool? They probably snuck there. They're smart. God, they are creepy. Uh-huh. I have seen I've seen videos of like squids and octopuses doing things. Getting out of their tanks, fitting through uh -huh. in ridiculously small spaces. They are very, very smart animals. And kinda creepy. Uh-huh. Alright, only missing uh, one thing now. It's that way. It is this way. Ooh, where is this? Oh my god. Um. She ran. 
What, wh what did you see? Jellyfish! Uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! Well, uh, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I guess. Go take care of this memory, will ya? Just leave me for a while. Right. Oh, hold on. Well, I already walked up, but it looked like I could also look at them. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going, and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day, I had enough. And I said to myself, someday I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life, and we'll never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones I took. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just wanted to go find them again. Anything important going on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. I would like to see this. Since I missed it. That friend, of course, that he's talking about is the, the bird. bird. Oh, it just says a giant wild aquarium. Okay, 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 I'm going. I assume that the memento is... The plane? Yeah. Almost, almost assuredly. Got it! Prepare. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um... Hmm. How about... Nope, that can't... Oh. <laughs> There's... Wow! We can only move this one and this one. Mm-hmm. That should make this easy. Yeah. Um, not hard. Uh-huh. One more. One more. So what is it we want to try and do? Now the left one again. Oh, yeah. There we go. Done and done. That unlocks the memory. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. At this point, things have converged almost to a single point. Mm -hmm. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You'd better have. It's going to be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Want to draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Hmm. So... Did the airport get shut down or something? Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Okay, closed airport. The airport call in a trained at closed down. And also he regretted that. He, reg he regrets everything. <laughs> he can't regret everything, Colin. See, he went this way, right? Mm -hmm. These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does.
You've always liked that picture, yes? Oh, it's the Mafia guy. I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Hmm. Well, that takes care of that. You don't have anything else to say, right? No. We'll check up here? But it's probably at the plane? Yeah. Everything's just cleared out. Mm hmm So, we have... Seriously, we've converged almost to a single point. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, we're... We're basic... Oh, what? What? That's weird. Oh, this is where I go. So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to oblige. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking. And? I don't know. I might try to ask her out on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Want to help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be much help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know? Sometimes even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near a hill we used to go, right? Might be a good time to try landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Drifted apart. Colin and Faye had drifted apart. So, do you think he was just really dense or plain not interested? It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could have, could be so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Permanent marker. There! Now let's go get paid. You moron, you can't just draw him a smile like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job. Now he looks like an affectionate joker. We've almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get back to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her. Obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles. He knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. 
But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? C could it be? <laughs> it's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, uh, of course. Uh, how, um, <clears throat> how, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, brought the paperwork, all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask about the machine. I think I saw. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help us before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Weird. Mm -hmm. Act two. That was all act one. <laughs> you don't have to leave anymore. Hmm. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks But Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time! That's amazing! I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. Y you know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that is saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're going to have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Rox. I'm going to go check on Colin. Oh, you're just going to get away like that? You might have fooled even Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters in your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going to find out. Hey, Rob! How's the situation looking? It's fine. He's talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again! No, I am not, in fact, tripping again. <laughs> Is everything going okay in here? <laughs> Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Creepy. <laughs> Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, about your machine. Yep, dry cleaning is just the best. Hey, uh, bad earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Uh, just well. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam! Another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look. I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I said I couldn't stand you, I swear it was only because I thought you weren't listening. <laughs> uh-huh. Move along. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna look upstairs. Because, y you may recall from way earlier, there was, 
like some stuff that uh-huh. I wanted to see, and now I finally get a chance to see it. Boxes of assorted VHS tapes. Okay, that was actually it. <laughs> that was the thing that's driven me nuts the entire Let's Play. Well, there's new stuff. A little bit. You're out early. Just needed to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Yeah. We're, uh... We're done connecting most of the paths through Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks, but I'm okay. Aren't you at least a bit curious about the things we found? Sure, and there was a time when I would have been dying to know every detail. But now, I don't think it matters much anymore. Perhaps you know some of the things I don't. Maybe it even changed my view of things. Still, even then, it'd just be another incomplete piece of reality. And after a lifetime where all is said and done, I feel like the best I could do is simply stay with the reality I've come to peace with. There is, however, something I wanted to ask, only because I feel like it's meant for me. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book here, and like this? No. I was actually going to ask you about it. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. Understood. I'll keep an eye out for it. Huh. Interesting. Dust covered mirror. Nothing more to say there. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I have a little bit more house to explore, and then, ugh, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's still things that need explaining. We've learned so much, and yet. Not a whole lot, so hopefully the answers will be there next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Amount Play Finding Paradise. <laughs>